everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria. Today we're going to be touring the special seven bedroom villa located in Yamu overlooking the limestone formations of Pangna Bay with 2,650 square meters of built up area sat on 7,000 square meter plot of land. This modern and contemporary villa designed by Philip Stark lacks no entertainment whatsoever from a putting green to a basketball court and not to mention your own private beach. I'm so honored and excited to show you guys around this 17 million US dollar home and thank you to C Property for giving us this incredible listing. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Follow me. We have this beautiful driveway into the home. It is gated, it's one way, so the exit's actually on the other side. And as you walk in, you can really see the potential this home has to offer. You get a glimpse of the putting green, as well as the basketball court, well-kept greenery all around. And this is not just this home, the greenery is kept throughout the whole entire residential area. Not only that they have a five-star hotel, restaurants, this whole entire space is so beautiful to look at and to drive in. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now, we're gonna take these steps up into the villa, but before that, if you do come here and want to have a tour on your on your own, you can park your car right there. It is shaded as well as gated and you have direct access into the kitchen from that way. But we're going to take the main steps through the main doors into the villa. Follow me. Welcome to the main hall. The minute you enter, you're in this atrium with interior columns giving you the experience as if you're literally in a grand hall. It also accentuates the height of these ceilings. We've got such high ceilings, floor to ceiling, uh, columns as well as these windows right in front of us that takes us out onto the Pangna Bay. Now this room is a combination of the dining room table as well as the living room table. This is incredible. This piece of wood right here, you can experience such a nice family dinner. Right on top of us, we've got this starlight cluster chandelier with warm light that reflects really, really nicely with the golden hue wooden panels for the ceilings up top as well as the um, dining room table. Right across, we walk into the formal living room space. We have an arrange of sofas and seatings, this beautiful cream suede L-shaped couch right here, which is huge. You can fit about 10 people in here. A beautiful woven carpet right here that is in the, in the center, as well as this golden coffee table. Beautiful art fixtures all around. All the art pieces in here are honestly an art installation in itself, just these chandeliers hanging up from above. And this is where you welcome your guests. You have the stunning view of Pangna Bay. If you've never been to Pangna Bay before, it is the perfect boat day where you can literally see limestones and caves and beautiful clear waters. And you get to experience that from your living room space. Now I'm gonna take you outside onto the terrace. This top deck has a reflective pool that expands 
all the way across as well as these floating steps giving you space for your outdoor living area that is such a nice area to sit and relax listen to the water fixtures on my left and on my right hand side which is actually giving such a nice symmetrical feel to this home looking out onto your own private beach as well as Pangna Bay, but not just looking back. Right now, I'm facing towards the house. It is so, so gorgeous. Just the iconic roof of Cape Yamu, which you've seen us tour before. It's such a beautiful art piece in itself. We also have a sunken in jacuzzi right there that is literally in sunken into your reflective pond. Now, I'm going to take you guys past these floating steps because it actually connects us into the Western kitchen as well as another dining room as well as the homemade quarters. So let's go inside. Here we walk into the informal dining room. I only say informal because there is a TV mounted on the wall right now, but obviously you still get a stunning view of the ocean as well as the garden that is right beside you. You're wrapped around by glass doors, so you're not being obstructed of the view whatsoever, even in this living um, dining room space. We have a beautiful wooden table gray suede chairs, as well as these beautiful light fixtures that complements the whole entire color theme of this room. You've got this orange golden hue wood, as well as black and just cutting it with the white as well. Now behind here is the Western kitchen. We have this massive island right here, five bar stools on the edge, smeg appliances all the way throughout. You've got Smeg a dishwasher, as well as these microwaves and oven, a hidden refrigerator through the, through the back, which is packed with champagne. So whenever you buy this house, you're never short of champagne, you'll know that for sure. And I also do love that it's a very smooth texture for all these cabinet spaces on the back. And I like how they extended it up all the way to the ceiling so it feels very seamless. It extends the whole entire um, wall as well. Now on this back side here, it is actually a separate entrance right from the garage as well as the maid's quarter, laundry room, um, all you need to really keep up this insane seven bedroom home. Now, since we're back into the building, I'm gonna take you guys across the atrium because there are two bedrooms on this top floor. Come on. We have this beautiful walkway here that takes us into two of the guest bedrooms. I'm gonna show you guys one because we literally have seven bedrooms to get through. But even this walkway, I absolutely love how they've implemented an Asian touch in some of the artwork as well as the paintings that are hanging. We are living in Thailand, so it complements really well and contrasts the contemporary style that is obviously designed by Philip Stark, but putting in the spice of Asian living. So I'm gonna take you guys through these doors and we'll see the first bedroom. Here we are in the first guest bedroom. If you have noticed on my left hand side, it is not just a king bed, it is a super king bed. So it's literally double the size, it's huge. I haven't seen one in person before and I can only imagine how easy it would be to fall asleep and just spread out all along. But this bed is facing towards the top deck. Now on this top deck, there's actually a jacuzzi, which I mentioned earlier before. So these sliding doors take you right out into the jacuzzi overlooking Pangna Bay. The accessories in here are so, so beautiful. They've added a touch of color by this pale yellow couch right here. We've got this sage green curtain. I'm obsessed with these light colors right now, but also adding something bright and very much in the Asian culture is this art piece right here, which is really, really beautiful. Now on the back wall behind the partition, on either sides, we have a his and hers closet, and through this way is the ensuite. This ensuite can be separated from the bedroom by this sliding door right here. We've got black accents for the handles, 
and walking into this ensuite, it is a huge space. Every single bathroom in here, they've kept in mind that they wanted to kind of give it a, give it a luxury spa feel. And I completely feel that the minute I step in, especially this beautiful over shaped single standing bathtub right here, right beside this window that is giving us such beautiful natural lighting as of now. These hanging chandeliers, which is very modern with the black hardware and really contrast with the rest of the lighter colors in this room. Now on this side, we've got the mirrors that panels all the way through on this side of the wall, double sinks over here, cabinet space all throughout the bottom. On that side is the walk-in shower. We've got this beautiful iridescent mosaic tiles that gives off such a beautiful color when it's hit by the light. You've also got the waterfall shower up on top. And yeah, this is pretty much the first bedroom. I'm really excited to take you guys downstairs. So let's take the steps down and see what else is to be seen. Just at the bottom of the step, we walk into the second living room area. What I love about this home, it is a huge land plot. There are seven bedrooms, but they've done such a good job making it feel really cozy and a home at the same time. Just like this living room space, what they've done to it, they've boarded it off, giving it its own spot as well as this wooden panel that wraps around and kind of closes you in into this room itself which is such a great idea it doesn't feel too big whatsoever now this main spot right here you can walk into four of the bedrooms the cinema room the game room all of the amenities on this bottom floor as well as your pool deck which we will get to but the color tones in this room is so beautiful they've used such nice natural elements with this tan um woven carpet as well as a touch of color with this violet basically bed right here it is such a large sofa and it is such a nice area to sit and lounge at because you have these windows that open up onto your pool deck but i want to take you guys into maybe one of my favorite rooms that is the cinema room here in the cinema, I really love the color choice that they've used. They've used a dark purple color for the carpet all throughout the floors as well as the padded walls throughout the back. Now you already saw a little bit of a teaser from that sofa because it was a light violet color and I love how they've just teased you with the color but then you walk into this room and it's full-blown purple room. This is so so cozy. You've got the L-shaped couch right here, the projector on that wall. This whole entire room is padded with this beautiful suede purple color as well as the wood on that side of the room and on these two upper steps we have a whole sofa bed it is so comfy and cozy you can do some serious movie nights in here or maybe a game night it is such a lovely space you can also block it off and completely separate yourself from the rest of the world by these sliding doors right here i mean what an experience to have your own cinema in your own home now i'm gonna take you guys onto this side there are two guest bedrooms on this side i'll show you guys one of them Come on. Now, there are two guest bedrooms on this side that faces towards the garden. I'm showing you guys this one. I'll also add in some inserts because we do have a lot to get through. Um, this guest bedroom, the minute you walk in, you have that partition wall that separates you from the mass, uh, from the bedroom into the ensuite right here. You can also close yourself off by this wooden sliding door. We have another beautiful oval shaped single standing bathtub right here right on top such a unique iridescent chandelier hanging from above it is so complementing to this mosaic wall right here as i mentioned before they've used it in every single bathroom i really like it it adds a nice hue of color into this very modern home on my left hand side we've got the double sinks gray tiles all throughout unless it is that mosaic um, a tile the waterfall shower right through there let me take you guys across the partition and see what's there 
the bed has a view of the ocean, your pool deck, as well as the side garden. I really love this headboard right here. It is such a beautiful touch of the Asian culture, especially with this dark red. It's really beautiful, complements really well with this mustard green throw pillow. The accessories in here really is so different to all the other rooms. I like that because you see something different everywhere you go and you're like, every time I walk into another room, I'm like, oh, I haven't seen that before. So this is definitely one of that um, full body mirror that's bordered by this wooden um, frame that you'll see throughout the whole home as well a nice sofa lounging area at the end of the bed that faces out onto your pool deck. Right outside of this bedroom, it connects us back into the pool deck area. It is a huge space, sand, stone all throughout, which is, gives a really nice feel to your feet. But if you wanna connect a little bit with nature, we have this huge green patch right here that takes us down onto the other bedroom, which we will get to. But I wanna show you this outdoor space first. First of all, this swimming pool looks so, so sleek. We've got black tiles and they've used the same mosaic iridescent tile that was in the bathroom and spaced it out, which almost looks like there are LED lights in the swimming pool because it reflects such a nice light into it. It's just those little touches that makes this space, this space so contemporary as well as modern with the black tiles. It gives it such a nice and sleek flow into your view. This view is so, so incredible. It spans out huge. You can see your private beach on the bottom as well as another green patch all the way at the bottom as well. We have the first outdoor shower right here. I am really obsessed with this. It is very, you wouldn't expect something like this because it looks very industrial, but it gives the perfect match with this contemporary and modern home. Now, on this pool deck, you have an arrange of sun beds with umbrellas that are giving you some shade as well as an overhang and right under it, some sun beds as well. So you really get to pick and choose where you wanna hang out. And I'm gonna take you guys onto the other end of the pool deck. On the other end of this pool deck, it also connects us back into two of the guest bedrooms here. I'll take you guys into one of them. And all the way in the corner, we have this beautiful outdoor kitchen as well as dining area, which is shaded. And if you guys notice behind me, there's a little rainbow. What a beautiful, gorgeous thing to see in a video. We haven't seen this before, but also because it was just raining, but now the sun is out and it's so, so pretty. Now, back to the tour. Um, on this side, as I mentioned, we have this outdoor living space. You have your wooden dining table. You are shaded with a ceiling fan, a nice little bar section here, barbecue on the back wall, a beautiful mosaic tile. That is also the same in this outdoor bathroom. Now this outdoor bathroom right in front of it, you have two of the outdoor showers. Very, very cool. This is literally an art piece. It's so insane. I haven't seen anything like this and you really would not expect it in such a modern home. I love the touch that it gives. It gives a nice industrial feel to it. And down that way, you can actually see the basketball court as well as badminton court. Now, there is so much to see in this home. Just keep on watching and I'll show you everything. But for now, let me take you guys into the master bedroom. The master bedroom, of course, has a super king size bed that looks out onto your sea view as well as your pool deck. It is something very, very insane that I haven't seen before. But of course, if you're living in a house like this, might as well get a super king size bed. Now, behind me, we have a little sofa seating area, beautiful artwork up on top. And I like how they've used a round carpet as well as these round coffee tables on different heights, just gives it some nice dimension. Now, behind this headboard here, we're gonna walk into the master ensuite. Here we have the his and hers walk-in closets on either sides of me. It is curved into the edges of the walls, built in 
all the little organizational pieces that you need in a master bedroom. You can also shut it off and separate it from the bedroom into the bathroom by these sliding doors. And in this master ensuite, we have a circle, single standing bathtub right here at the corner, um, right in front of me, the double sinks for his and hers as well, mirrors that panels all the way um, from one end of the wall onto the other. We have these beautiful sconces right here that actually look like a candle that is being lit up and walk-in shower for his and hers as well. I love how this shower has the mosaic tiles from the, from the walls all the way down onto the bottom and on the other side. It just gives it such a nice, incredible flow. Now, not only that you're showering in this huge bathroom, you also have a beautiful view outdoors, giving you some natural lighting and art piece out, out there as well, as well as that it connects you back out onto your pool area. Now, we've seen the master bedroom. I'm gonna take you guys next door because that's where we're gonna have all the fun. It is the game room. This home has really used and optimized the whole entire space, giving you the best experience living at home, literally not having to leave your residential area whatsoever. I mean, you have this game room with a golf stimulator on the back here, a really nice and cozy couch right here, a little bar section for you to stock up your mini fridge over here, a nice pool table as well as the outdoor space. Now the outdoor space has a full basketball court that actually doubles as a badminton court as well and also obviously the golf stimulator is not enough. You have your own putting green out there. It is such a well thought out home where you really do not need to leave whatsoever. You can spend your holidays here, spend it here with all your kids and really be at the comfort and the privacy of your own home. Now, I'm gonna take you guys into your at home gym. Right outside of the game room, we have a little pit stop, stop here. It is the guest bathroom. It also has its own shower because it's also on the way to the gym. We have the storage space through that door right there. And down this hallway, if you follow me, we have this beautiful hallway taking us straight into your at-home gym. The whole side of this wall is storage space, nice seating area before you hit the gym. On this side, we have this beautiful and intricate art piece right here that I've never seen before of lotus flowers just draping across the whole entire wall. And through here, you're fully decked out at home gym. You seriously do not need to go anywhere. Just hire a personal trainer or do it yourself here at your own comfort. You have all the equipment that you could think of, ropes, hanging bar, um, all the dumbbells, bench right here, treadmill, literally all that you could ask for to live a healthy life is here. You've also got mirrors that wrapped around these two walls right here, a TV, so sonar sound system all throughout, these beautiful LED lights up on top, which I can only imagine when it gets dark, this must look really, really cool. And even at your gym, you have this insane view of the ocean. You're gonna walk out onto this grass patch right here. They've set up a trampoline. It's big enough to play some football here with your, since they actually have two football goals right here. Now this connects you out onto this huge grass land right here. I'm gonna take you guys down because we still have one more guest bedroom to check out as well as your private beach. Now down these wooden steps, we're gonna walk into the guest bedroom. Now this is a whole separate pavilion from the rest of the home. It is so private. I mean, if you wanna have a little getaway from the main villa, you can literally come here and have like a little getaway with your friends or your family and have your own space. It's looking out onto your beachfront. You have these steps that take you down to the beach as well. It is so beautiful, so secluded, wrapped around with nature from all over the place. And you're so 
secluded from the rest of the home, which really gives the vibe as if you're there on your own. This is also would be the perfect spot to host you or your family. Now I'm going to take a stroll down to the beach and wrap up the video for you guys. We have officially wrapped up this tour. This is listed with C property at 17 million US dollars. If you would like to know any more information about this property, please click the link in my description box below. It will take you straight to the C property website and you can contact them through there. As well, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. My name is Victoria and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.